Sean Brennan now, former CIA director and an NBC News senior national security and intelligence analyst. Director Brennan, thanks. Isn't this Russian invasion against the Chinese interests? I mean, they're investing in infrastructure around the globe as part of their Belt and Road Initiative. War in Europe, I mean, that hurts that. And yet they're staying on the sidelines, at least in public. Absolutely, Shep. It is against Chinese interests. And I also think it just demonstrates that she, President Xi, uh, I think, took President Putin at his word that it was going to be a quick invasion, that the Ukrainian military was going to be able to, was going to fold over. Uh, and it's not. And now we're after three weeks of this military onslaught by Russia. I think President Xi realizes that, quite frankly, he's made a mistake in terms of maintaining this neutrality and also not counseling Putin against going in. But for the U.S. to lead now NATO nations in this consensus against Russia certainly is contrary to what China has tried to do, which was to take advantage of fissures in the West. And they don't like the idea that now the United States is leading this coalition of mm -hmm. NATO and the international community against Russia. D Director Brennan, were China to actually come out against the invasion, how would that change the situation on the ground? Well, I don't think it would change much, but also I think it's very important for that in international fora, like in the United Nations. China does have a very important voice, especially in the Security Council. And so therefore, I think it's important to be able to have this international coalition, even to include China, that is going to signal to Russia and to the Russian people that this is a war that is not uh, justified in any regard. And so, therefore, I think President Biden wanted to make sure that President Xi understood what our assessment of the situation in Ukraine, warn him against siding with Russia in a material way, but also let him know the consequences if President Xi and China decide to try to help Russia evade sanctions, which is something that I know that the United States and its coalition partners really want to make sure are going to strangle Putin uh, as he continues this military invasion.